so we are going to create a custom auto complete view we are going to use just javascript no external library will be used not even jquery here is our index.php file which we are going to use and here is our database the table name is products we want to create an input field where user will enter the name of product and as soon as he types we will search for product name and display that in a list whenever a user selects some product from the list we will save this product code in database so basically the user will be searching by product name and in backend we will be receiving the product code so let's get started first we will create a simple form set the method post and action to whatever the name of file you want to send data we are going to create two input fields first will be the field that will be visible to user and here he will enter the name of product and in this field we are going to attach an on key up listener and this will be called whenever a key is pressed in this input field and we need to create a hidden field which will contain the product code then we will create a div that will display the products that contains the name written in this input field first create this function in javascript inside this function first we have to get these two input fields same goes for product code first we need to check if the text value in this product field is greater than 3 greater than or equal to 3 so if user has typed 3 words in this field then we are going to send an ajax request on server to get the products which match these words this is the name of file and in the name of file we will attach the product as parameter and this will be product value now we need to create this file And in this file, first we will connect with database. Then we will get this value, which we will be receiving in parameter. Right now, I am just echo this variable just to see if I am receiving this correctly and to receive the response in client side we have to attach an event name on ready state change the response will be successful if the ready state has value of 4 
and the value in status is 200. The response which we'll be receiving from server will be stored in variable name response text. So when I type at least th three characters, then it sends an AJAX request. Now we need to search this value in products table. We will use like clause to search in substrings. Execute the query. Create an array to send back and loop through all the records that we are seeing from database. and push the data in array. And we will send the response back in JSON format. So it doesn't match if I type, let's say Ferrari. So these are the products that matches this these words fer now we need to convert this json string data back into javascript obje objects and display that in this div <coughs> we can convert the json string into javascript objects using json.parse function create a variable for html and loop through all the records that we are seeing from server. And we will be displaying them in single paragraph. We will be displaying product name and attach an attribute, a custom attribute, which will hold the product code. This product code will be sent in database once user selects some value. And at the end, we have to append this HTML in this div. We can simply do that using this div and calling inner html is equal to html but before this we have to display a loading message so it is displaying all the products that are matching this field so let's try another one. Let's say I'm try now. So it is working perfectly. Now we need to make it so that when I whenever I click on it, it will save this value in a hidden field. This is the hidden field that, that we want to store the value of selected product code. We are already attaching a product ID in this paragraph now we need to at attach an on click listener let's say select product and in the parameter pass this paragraph this selected paragraph create a new function and its parameter let's call it self self meet means the node and we can get its value using this attribute
now we need to assign this product code value to this hidden field Really. So now you will see it will be attached here. This is our hidden field. I'm going to type FE or and I'm going to select this spider red. You see it has assigned the value S183232. If I check in database the Product having 3232 is this one spider red. So let's try an another one. Let's say I'm type simple car and I select the Maxwell Touring Car. You will see this product code value will be changed 3320. So it is working perfectly. Now you just need to remove these values whenever user selects some value. So basically you need to empty this value, empty this div. And you need to assign the product field and you need to assign the product field the value which we have selected here so this input field will have the will have this name value and the hidden field will have the product code value We will use the self dot inner HTML, and in this case, the self means this paragraph, so it will display the inner HTML value in this input field. So I'm typing Ferrari. Whenever I select this spider head, it will assign the product name in this field and product code in this hidden field. Now you just need to add a submit button which when clicked it will submit the form to this page and in that page you can save this product code in your database.